Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and welcome to 2020 journaling. Oh, Tiny Hand is so fired up. I I am too, in case you were wondering. Uh, this is my Hobonichi cousin Avec, the big old A5 lady. We are starting her out today and I hope you crack open your 2020 journal and we do this. <music> So the pages that you guys are seeing here, um, is, it's that um, opening a page to a new year or whatever. It's the blank spread that is right before the weeklies start. And um, I think it's supposed to be used for, I don't know, like a vision board or whatever you want, I guess. But I imagine that it's probably some sort of like goals or something like that. Um, but last night, my husband wanted to watch Mission Impossible. And so I had my journal, <laughs> we were in the family room, and I had my journal and markers and stuff set on the table, and uh, I was just playing around with my watercolors and my twi markers, twee markers, <laughs> I don't know, I always want to say it like that, and they were really fun to play with, I hadn't really gotten into them as much as I did yesterday, and uh, I found a quote that I really liked, um, just about creating, creating things, it's just good for your soul, and so, so that quote and then that image I saw on Pinterest and I just really liked it. So I kind of watercolored um, that sort of thing and I really liked it. I had a really nice time and it uh, definitely distracted me from how stupid Mission Impossible movies make me feel. I, I feel like the biggest numbskull when I watch those movies. I, I can't tell you who's who, I can't tell you what's going on, who's Russian, who's American, who's bad, who's good, who's having sex with who, I can't keep track. There's so many double crosses that it all spins in a circle. I don't know how he, but he always knows what's happening. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Do your husbands always know what's happening in Mission Impossible movies? I think it's a man thing. It's gotta be. Anyhow, this was a lot more fun than paying attention to that, so... Uh, I also put that little piece of fabric. I used um, double-sided tape on that fabric to wrap it around the edge because I used that fabric to make a tote bag like two years ago maybe and I love that fabric and I just kind of wanted to stick that in there to remind me of that type of creation because you know I'm used to doing my journaling and my art but um, like sewing and making things with my hands is also another kind of um, you know, creativity that I didn't want to forget about. So I kind of liked that. And I also did like that it's sort of, if you grab it, it flips to the, the beginning of the start of my journaling or whatever. So, um, and I also found a quote, um, that I wrote at the bottom of my page. Uh, I think it's an F Scott Fitzgerald, like something he wrote and I just loved it. Uh, so I wrote that in there with the pointy end of my twee marker, and I really like how they write. I really do. Uh, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. And I actually used it to journal in there about um, on today. We were supposed to go, well, I got invited by my friend Susie to go geocaching this morning. And I was excited to go. And then last night before I went to bed, I just got, for some reason, really anxious. Really anxious about it. And I I didn't want to go. I, I just had... I, I can't explain it. I just got super, a lot of anxiety. And so I just said, I called her in the morning or texted her. She was going to pick me up at like 7.30 a.m. And I was like, I think I'm just going to stick around home. My brain's just doing funny things. And she's like, yeah, no problem. Well, next time. So that was, that was sweet. And, um, you know, I just told my husband that I was feeling that way. And he just totally didn't push me, which was really nice. Um, he never does. He was just supportive, you know? So, um, I cut out, I took a little picture of him making brownies and then we played, um, a game <laughs> we played a uh, sequence. And then my daughter and I went, she wanted to go jogging with me, which I thought was the cutest thing in the whole world. So she got her little like leggings on and a sweatshirt and, and we went out and we, um, we would jog for, uh, 30 seconds or something a minute and then walk for a minute and we went a whole mile and then we came you know 
like out and back. It was a mile. So I was so proud of her and we had so much fun and uh, yeah, it was great. So I just was writing about that and um, and a couple other things I had stuck in there last night were from Happy Mail that I picked up from my P.O. box from you guys. So I stuck stuff like that in there um, and I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and then stickers from my American Crafts sets and um, let's see that cat I put in um, because today I started out in my planner. I've been I've been really using it you guys I'm so excited my daily spreads and so I wanted to get some of my things marked off of my monthly task trackers so I um, washed out cleaned out both the litter boxes like emptied the litter and washed them and then put fresh litter and stuff I mean I empty our litter boxes obsessively but I I don't wash them like the whole box that often so um, I wanted to keep track of that. So got both of those done and then I washed both the kids beddings and towels. So I got that checked off and it was just a very productive day. I, it was a good start to 2020. Um, I didn't wake up feeling anxious, but I just don't know what that was last night. It was so weird. Um, and so I decided I was flipping through the doodle book. This is my how to draw almost every day or how to draw almost everything. I can't remember. I'll link it down below, but I had started a doodle challenge last year and quickly I, I just couldn't keep up. I didn't keep up with it. So I am going to try and doodle in my dailies here. And so I just decided to draw that cute little washer because I feel, felt like I did a lot of laundry today. <laughs> so, um, I'm, fully expecting one of my children to pee the bed tonight <laughs> fully <laughs> on all of the clean bedding so I just thought that little washer was adorable and I mean these these doodles are cute they're like cute things and they're so easy um yeah just fun to draw and I colored it in with my blue mild liner and my gray mild liner and then I just wrote that I washed their bedding and stuff and um I was so happy to like have that checked off by my list, you know, and I've been writing things in my dailies and checking them off. It was just, I'm, I'm feeling good about it, you guys. I'm feeling good. So um, we also, let's see today, Addie and I ran to Walmart because I needed more cat litter and lettuce and stuff like that. And I picked up some Sharpie permanent markers um, to use on some of my stickers in my planner for next week that I needed like permanent markers for. So um, I use end up using the label for that as a tip-in. I know you guys, it's the first day of the year and I'm already using a tip-in. Like, oh my god. Have I learned nothing? I could barely write in my last journal, but here I am doing the same exact thing. I just thought it was pretty and I liked it. Um, so I'm just writing about how Addie and I ran those errands and Henry was just kind of, he had a low fever and he was kind of just laying around. He was, he was resting today. Um, not a high fever, but poor boy. Uh, he didn't feel great. I mean, he didn't feel sick, but he just wasn't his usual self. So he was resting and reading and stuff like that. And, uh, so I was just writing some more on there. And then these sticker flakes, um, one of you guys sent me and they're so, so cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, I love them. And so I picked out, well, one was like three little animals and some music and I thought that was super cute. And then one was like a little, um, looked like <clears throat> a little like sleeping thing. And so I put that on there because it just kind of looked like a little like lazy animal. What is it? A cat? I can't, I don't know. Um, so I put that, I end up putting that on my tip in and then that is a little piece of washi tape that came, um, on one of you guys' happy mails. So I just love how you guys are all over my journal too. Like it just makes me so happy to flip through and look at and to see. Ugh, I love it. That cute little binder clip, yellow binder clip sticker um, came on a letter that I just got and I just stuck that in there because I thought it was such a cute sticker. And then I was just put a little sticker in there, like a little flag sticker to write that Henry had like a low fever. So 
that is the journaling for the first the first part of January, you guys. I, I'm so excited and I am in love. I had so much more room to write and more room to sticker and Lord knows I still used to tip in so those will not be going anywhere. But uh, it was great. Um, and this art journaling page, I used my white, um, my white pen. I hadn't used it in a long time, so I had to kind of get some of the crust off the tip. <laughs> get the crust off the tip. Gross. So <laughs> I used, used it to like highlight that little like moon thing. And then some parts of the, the tree branches that I really liked. I had a lot of fun doing that art journaling. Like I need to start doing that more. It was really cool. Um, so that, that was really neat and I enjoyed it and I, this, I could not be more excited about how this, this first day went in the journal. I just had so much fun and, and there was room. I had room. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying your 2020 journaling so far and we're going to have a great year. So I'm super excited that you guys are here and that we're gonna do it together. I hope when you watch my videos that you crack out your planners or journals and you just have some relaxation time to uh, record your thoughts and your memories and we'll do it together. So um, if you guys are new here, thank you. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you stick around. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit crazy, a little bit weird. Um, sometimes I swear, so basically the full package. Um, and I hope you stay. If you want to subscribe, uh, that that would be nice. I would I would appreciate that. Um, and if you don't, well then, that's mean. <laughs> Bye, guys.